Hey everybody, Chance Priest here for a brand new Priest Toy Safari. Yes, it's been like almost a year or something. <laughs> it feels like forever, but uh, I had the right stuff to do this with and I had the right time and the right feelings. And so uh, so I'm gonna get to kicking on these. I got so much stuff built up to show off and, and, and you know, maybe it'll expose y'all to some of these toys that I love and y'all can go hunt them down and find them and, and uh, you know, I, I think I love that. You know, that's that's what it's all about, right? The hunt. Um, anyway, um, y'all can always find me. You know, my 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 core group is uh, priests, monsters, aliens, and superheroes on Facebook. Of course, Victory Comics LLC on Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook, all that jazz. You know, I mean, and then and then Chances Toy Collection. I post on Instagram. I post pictures of stuff. So. Anyway, it, it's been forever, and I've been nervous to do another one because I was like, man, you know, I mean, uh, I just hadn't done one in forever, so, you know, let's let's give it a shot. But um, uh, these are today, I, I'll tell you what, usually on, on uh, a Priest Toy Safari, what I do is I just get a random tub, I open it up, look in it, and go like, oh, man, that looks like some cool stuff, we'll just do that. You know, kind of not, not I, I don't like to script nothing, you know, so I like to just do it. Uh, this is a collection I bought of Guerrero's Del Manana from Argentina. And the reason I, I think this is really cool because it, it, I actually have most of these already, but what I thought was cool about it when I bought it is that I, I wanted to uh, uh, get the uh, some from the original owner. And this, this is a collection that was kept by the owner when he was a little boy in Argentina, sold it to a friend of mine, and then the only person, he's the only man in between, and then I got it. So it's to me that makes it real special, you know, because it was his. And they're they're a little more played with than most of the ones I have. But hey, you know, that's that's what makes it. I think it gives it character. I I love uh, South American, Mexican. You know, I love all all those toys and and uh, and and that they really were played with. That's pretty damn cool. Anyway, I'll get to showing you all these and uh, and I'll take pictures and stuff like that. And post them. Uh, here is uh, I, I'm terrible with the names. It's like Calivor or Calivar or something like that. And uh, y'all can tell he's a Remco Skull Man uh, bootleg head, and the bodies are pretty pretty original. I mean, I'm sure they've got some; they're rooted in something or another. But you know, it's that typical He Man knockoff. You know, the craze. You know, and uh, he's got his cape and everything. It looks freaking awesome. Um, and I have, I've, I so far I've gotten three different colors of him. So um, so that's pretty neat too. That there's there's variant colors. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me like, what's the, what's the difference between a bootleg and a, and a knockoff? And I used to say, you know, a bootleg was something that, um, you're really stealing from the, the, the deal. Like th this would, this to me would be considered a bootleg because you took the head off, you know, but there again, the whole series is a knockoff because knocking off is just like, um, uh, like He-Man was so big, you're, you're, you're kind of a, a coat tailor, you know, you're hanging on to its coattails and kind of knocking off the whole idea of of fantasy but then i mean really is it a knockoff because you know then you could say well he man's a knockoff of, of a black star and then you say well black star just a knockoff of a conan movie you know i mean you know you can just go on and on and on but uh uh these are to me these these have a real original flair to them you know so um even though they have you know obviously been knocked off i've got a ton of weapons in here y'all i'm not even gonna I'll, I'll show you the weapons separate i'm not gonna put one in everybody's hand or nothing um there is the lizard man and like again you know rimco knockoff he's got the the um he, he, yeah i can i can even see the rimco arms here and then the body uh, you know a little of this little of that i don't know you know but uh it's damn cool and all these are blow molded that's what i find so fascinating they're all blow molds which i think is super cool i love anything blow molded because it uh, has that cheap third world country feel to it. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I, I've always loved blow molded stuff. Uh, there is, uh, well, you know, we know him as Spikes from, I guess, what, Galaxy Warriors or something like that. I don't know, Galaxy. I don't, there's so many Galaxy Fighters, Warriors, uh, Muscle Heroes. And I, I can't keep it straight. I don't want to keep it straight. I, I like just the figure. I like, there it is. The only thing I like to know the names for is when I'm searching. You know, that's about it. But uh, there's him with his armor and everything, so that's cool. This dude's probably one of my absolute favorites, and uh, they actually use that body and head for a Batman figure, a Batman knockoff or bootleg or whatever. I, really, you know, like if you, 
Like if you took this figure and you did it exact, like you molded the 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 wings, you molded the body, and you made it man, that that's not a bootleg. That's a counterfeit. You know, if you're trying to like make it look just so much like it that it's just basically you're buying the damn same figure again. That's really a counterfeit. A bootleg's when you you know take that right there and you mix it up some. You you know change it up, put your own added touches to it or something like that. You know that's. Uh, that's what, that's my opinion of it. You know, I, I'm sure if somebody said, oh, Chance, he's a dumbass, you know, but whatever, I don't care. I, you know, uh, these wings are so incredible. Um, you know, y'all know I make my own toys. I have my own toy line, Warriors Universe. And boy, I'll tell you what, these wings give me hope. <laughs> like I make wings for guys and it's a, in a, it's, um, I do one, one and one and then they're pinned and glued uh but that is a really neat idea the way they 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 put those together and it looks so freaking cool so i might i might be knocking that off or bootlegging that or whatever i don't know <laughs> i throw a little bootleg into some of my figures a lot of them are all hand sculpted from scratch uh no matter what they got a ton of hand sculpting on them but you know it, it never hurts to put one of your favorite things and kind of you know jive it in there with it look at that dude a beast man's face winged i love love this figure and i actually think i have him in a couple of different colors now i don't have my collection y'all know my stuff's buried man i got tubs up to the damn ceiling and um I, if i were to try if i waited to do this till i found those which i was thinking about i said i, I might not find them for a year or two you know so uh we do what we can this one is so freaking awesome he's i think he's supposed to be kind of like a manny faces but instead of the, the rotating head, which to me would be simpler, they put a flip head in here. I don't know. I don't want to break it. Oh, yeah. It's okay. It went just, it went easy. One eye, a cyclops, and then there's the other face. Drill hand, robot claw hand. God, if you don't like that, get out. You're in the wrong collectible line, man, because this, this stuff is solid gold, man. I love it so much. Uh, that that thing that thing right there is. Whew. I was when I got these in, I opened the box and I mean I just laid them all out. You know I'm just sitting there just ah uh, Christmas morning stuff. It, it just it, and what's weird is I have most all these. There's like just I think two in here that I didn't have, and and it still was just I it just it thrilled me like I you know like I'd never seen them in my whole damn life. Um, here is a uh, obvious He Man knockoff. I'd love to know, maybe y'all know what that head is from. It's a really oddball head, and I swear I've seen it on a little doll figure. So, maybe so. Maybe I'm just mistaken in that. But just look at that face and tell me if, you know, it looks really odd. And, man, anybody that collects bootlegs, I'll guarantee you this. Most of y'all. Now, there's some people that collect it because they just, you know, they see value in it. And they see like an extension of Mo2, and they're just going to get into that stuff. Me, I see folk art and, and outsider art. And if that's, you know, if, if you if you don't know about those art forms, which most of y'all do, get online and just start looking at a whole bunch of different art. And I'll tell you what, if you if you find yourself drawn to folk art, then you then I, I, I would say, you know, you're, 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 you're a, a tried and true bootleg knockoff, whatever the hell, collector. But, uh, you know, because I, I am, I always have been, I've been into folk art forever, forever. I, I had, you know, made a living on it for a long time. Um, and I, I consider myself a folk artist, you know, that's, uh, it just so happens that I love toys, you know, that's my thing. Um, uh, and I'm about to make a movie and it's going to be a folk art movie. <laughs> Probably y'all be like, that's a piece I want. But, you know, that's, uh, that's what I do, you know. I do what I want to do, and I have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones, okay? This is a two-head, and I love the way they join that head together because they took a clawful, added horns, uh, maybe added some teeth and some stuff. I don't know. They added some stuff. And then they took, I think his name's Canis from, um, is it Soma? Is it Fantasy World or... Sparkle Warriors, I can't remember. But anyway, I know him. I've got him. He's blue, you know, or purple, or I'm colorblind too. But anyway, there's that. And that that this is the that's the first one of these I ever got. And that's going back about 15 years. 
And um, uh, I bought it, get this, when I bought it, it was in a bag with a header card and it was all original from South America, you know, from Argentina. And the, the bag said, the bag said cake decoration. The, 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 and so they were, so when they had leftovers, I'm sure after the company went out of business, they were packaging up, you know, like so many bootleg knockoff companies, cheap toy companies did. They, they, you know, recycled, made it, made it, made it pay, you know. Um, check out that dude. He's like a Viking warrior dude. Kind of a Conan looking. His face looks like it's, uh, it's, um, it's, it, well, his face is, uh, uh, man at arms. If you look real close, it's man at arms who's been, you know, See, this is when you take something you love, or probably something for expediency for them, but they took Man at Arms' face, and they just worked on it, you know, and, and then they got something totally new out of it, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. It's beautiful. It's, you're incorporate. you got, you got two things you love, something that's awesome, that's fresh, and something that's, you know, one of your crazy old loves, and these are, these are all mid-80s, y'all, so these are, these are from the period, you know, and I'm sure they sold them for years down there. I know the, I know the original... Maker got a hold of his molds after the company went out of business and he kept producing these. That is another thing y'all should all look out for. Not that it, not that they're bad, but a lot of people sell them as 80s originals, okay? They're made they're 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 not the same. They're slush molded with resin and and if you you could you can literally crumble them in one hand. It, they 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 are that brittle. And um and th but they're cool looking. That's the thing though. Because they're very folk arty, you know, and they and they definitely look different than these. And I will show you on a package if I can damn remember it. I will. Sh I'll, I'll grab a package right now and show y'all. Let me show y'all this guy real quick. Uh, that is uh, Sawhawk, the Snake Man head, and uh, he's got a damn drill arm, and uh, and then this incredible, insane skeletal robot arm with a laser. I'm assuming that's a laser beam. Laser gun and ah, uh, woo! That's palpitations. I'll get that box. All right, here we go. One of them came in the package. It, or I guess they kept the package, and it's down in there. But there is really no in the package for these because they they had a bubble on and the bubble stapled. <clears throat> you can see the different figures on the back, which is uh, Wave Two. That's the Wave 2 figures. And uh, I, they're better. The Wave 2 figures are better because they, um, I mean, in my opinion, because they're more original. They're wild, you know. Not that they don't knock off and all that bootleg and stuff, but they, they're, they're original. This is what you look for, y'all. See that card back? See how it's just, it's raw uh, uh, pulp paper, you know, just, just uh, uh, paper color. All the ones he made after the company folded have a slick white background a slick white or even like a slick off white and a lot of times he signed them on the back now i don't have no problem i have a lot of those i have no problem with collecting them just so y'all know though they ain't worth near what these originals are worth just i mean I, that's that's for value's sake uh you might have a bunch of the the ones that he made and think they're more special because the the maker himself made them and put them out, sign the back of the card, and that's all good with me. Because, I, like I say, I got a bunch of them, and I like them. I like them a lot. Their colors are a little different. They're 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 different, but boy, they are breakable. It's all get out. Um, they're cool. And if you're a hardcore collector like me, you want all of it. You want the the new, the old, or whatever. But like I say, a lot of the guys in the know that do know, they will still try to pawn off the newer stuff, which you can usually get for a hundred dollars or less. Uh, as vintage, which a vintage in the package is going to run you two hundred dollars or more. So that's the that's the thing to look at. Uh, I'll do these B. Let me finish the figures here. Okay, one of the weirdest parts is um, they made big robots, and if you said there's no way that big old robot, he shoots clear missiles, which I don't have with this one, and he has a clear dome over the the paper, the sticker face. Oh. Give me sticker faces all day. I love that stuff, man. Um, so, so uh, you think no way, man? That no way that that happened. You know, it did. I have one in the package. I have an original in the package, and he came in, I believe, three different colors. I know I have two for sure, and I think I I've seen a third. Uh, 
Anybody, I know the Argentinians are, are probably going to watch some of this and they can chime in and tell me where I'm wrong because I'm, 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 I love to, uh, I don't claim to be no expert. I'm just a big collector. I just collect, 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 collect. And, um, the, the, you know, <laughs> I just, I just have fun. You know, I, I, I want what I want and I get it. And if I can afford it and, you know, I ain't worried about it. You know, I, I, I bought a, I bought a, um, interesting story from Argentina. I bought a, a He-Man uh, figure that was bootlegged to look like a, I guess it had a cast He-Man head and it was on a um, combo warrior body because they have those little hoof feet, you know, and it was all packaged up and it looked legit, a hundred and thousand percent legit, right? And I paid, I don't know, I didn't pay that much, 50 or $60 for it or something like that, maybe even less, I don't know. It was, I thought it was, just, I got it in. It's so freaking beautiful. Uh, I said, man, that's gotta be one of my favorite figures I own. And uh, you know how it is, it's your favorite for a little bit and then it wears off and then you're like, it's still, I'll still love it, but you know, it's in the back. Anyway, so I, I threw it up on the internet and you know, another thing, man, I don't throw stuff up on the internet to go, like, oh, look at me, look what I got. I want to just share with y'all. And so, because when I look on the internet and I see something somebody got, it like opens this awesome doorway for me. And I'm like, man, I got to go hunt that stuff down. I've never seen one of those. That's so awesome. And I'm just hoping I can do that for y'all. You know, that, cause that, cause it, hell man, that's what, as a collector, that's what you're living for, man, to hunt it down and have fun. Um, anyway, so I posted that he man. I can't believe I still remember, you know, my stories get off track and I can't remember. But anyway, I, po I post that he man right away. Here come the negative SOBs. That's a fake produced in the 90s or produced in 2000, blah, blah, blah. Some guy did that in his garage. I mean, I heard it all. And I said, what you don't understand, my reply, I don't care. I love it. I don't care. You know, I, I watch these threads with Wonder Bread He-Man, and I don't even respond because it is such a joke. Everybody thinks they know. Nobody really knows, or somebody says they got proof, and then you read their proof, and it's like, no, that's not really proof. You know, who cares? It's obviously old parts. It, uh, they're rare, obviously. I mean, they're not, I wouldn't call them super rare, because you see them, you know, every week or two on eBay. But, um, you know, I, I've had them. Because I, I had them a long time ago, when they weren't worth nothing. You know, when they were worth like $60, $70, you know. So, uh, they've been around a long time. They're old parts. Who knows where they came from? Who cares? If you bought it and you love it, enjoy it. And don't worry about all that. That I just don't like all the negativism. Man, this is toys. We're supposed to be having fun. We got our real life, right? Like most people, I mean, I don't have a real life because I make toys for a living. So <laughs> I'm I'm living the dream, right? But, uh, but you know, you, you got your work, you know, your damn job. And it sucks and it's a grind. Maybe something in your life's a grind. And toys are your, your fun outlet. So why spoil them with negative stuff? You know, why spoil your friends on the on, online with negative stuff? I don't just, I just don't believe in that way. So anyway, um, these, these are two of my favorites. You know, as you, you can tell Slyth, you know, and they, uh, they messed with him. He's got a claw hand, third eye. I mean, uh, total work of art, absolute genius work of art. Um, love that figure. Love that figure. Uh, this one, don't ask me if somebody knows what this came from. I think it's a black star. Oh, I don't remember the guy's name. He's the main, or he's the, maybe he's the, I don't know, the black star. He's a bad guy. But I think that's his head underneath all that mess. But look at that weird son of a buck. Anyway, of course, blow mold bodies. It just a amazing, you know, freaking figure, man. I just, I just think it's awesome. Just look at that thing. Anyway, that I just can't get enough of. And, and it shows on the package you're supposed to drive. These are bendable, and they're supposed to go over his ideals. Well, you know, 40 years later, you know, you're not going to do that. So, if, has it been 40 years? Oh, it's been a long time. 35 years. 35 years later, you're not supposed to. You know, I wouldn't do it. I'm just going to leave them up like that. I'm not mess with them. Now, wep uh, well, weapons, yeah. There's just so many. But anyway, there's a bunch of originals, so you get to see them, you know. So, see all that original mess? Swords and guns, ray guns, axes, scythes, 
crossbows, these awesome shields. Um, pitchfork, I mean, it's damn cool, right? I love the ray guns, uh, different ray guns, you know. And again, as a toy maker, this stuff's uh, not, you know, it's not easy just coming up with new stuff all the time. And weapons are the hardest. And uh, they got all these different kinds, you know. There's all these different different ones. There's another shield. And I imagine it had uh, a little sticker insert or something like that. Um, there's a box. Most, most of y'all hardcore collectors have seen these or own these. But there's a box to it. Um, got the wave one up there. Yeah, wave one up there at the top. There's the box. Friggin' beautiful. I love this. I have a, I got it from the maker. I have, um, maybe a set of playing cards or some kind of, or book or something with all the stuff and all, a bunch of different artwork in it. It's really neat. I have to find it somewhere. It, it, it's badass. Bad to bone. Um, Okay, there's one of the monsters. And y'all can see it's one of them Imperial type, you know, that just added a little to. Now they put up, they put up, this comes like this. They put that on his back. And they even show a guy up there on his back getting with it, you know, getting ready to fight. It is a physical impossibility to put one of these figures on this thing's back, right? Okay, because number one, you'd literally have to break their legs to get them to fit on that. Or, or heat it with a heat gun or something. And then he's going to be like that. Okay. Now, I don't know. I can barely stay on a saddle when it's regular. I sure ain't going to stay on one, you know, 90 degree angle. Uh, impossible. Uh, so I love that. Here's this cat. Now, this cat pops up probably more than any other of the accessories. Uh, his hip. This one's hip. It's not broken. It just wants to pop off all the time. Well, I should show it to you. Like that. There's the cat. And I like it. It's got that dipping motion. And it's got a devil's tail. Because I like to think that is like a stinger, you know, where it could just oh, cut a hole in some dude. Knock a big hole in him. Like an arrow hitting him. Anyway, isn't that cool? And I got to say, I got... And then here we go. Last of the Mohicans right here. The Wind Raider. <laughs> what do they call it? I don't even know. Let's see. The, the cat is called a Z Zarpa Tig. Uh, the, the, list, the dinosaur is a Reptilus. And this is called a, sp a Spun Mon... <laughs> spun, I'm not lying. S-P-U-N, Spun Monster. Can y'all see that? The Spun Monster. Okay, the names are here. A little fishy here. Okay, but anyway, there it is. And of course, it, it, it'll it get you like that. And it's blow mold and this stuff just pops on and off like crazy. Um, I'm sure as a kid that probably like, Ugh, where's the glue, Dad? You know, <laughs> but, you know, anyway, it has a, has a uh, uh, I can't remember if it's a harpoon or a big air or something like that that goes in there, but I don't have it. Uh, I, I, I have one of these in the box. So somewhere I have it, but... I, like I say, I wanted this because it was a collection from a of a kid, and uh, I, you know, that's rare anymore. I mean, granted, I mean, they made what ten billion Motu figures, so those collections do come up. Where it was a kid's collection still, you know, and will for years to come, because uh, you know, guys like me that, you know, maybe their mom never sold it or they they kept it, and um, and they still have it, you know, and then. You'll, you'll see a lot of them when we start turning, we start getting in our 70s, and then they'll start really hitting the, <laughs> the secondhand market because everybody will be dying. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, that's, uh, that's uh, Guerrero's Del Manana. And, uh, and if you don't have some, you should get some. They're very addictive. I think I'm missing, uh, in this pile, I'm missing this fella here, and I'm missing... Um, uh, the warrior called uh, Andros Khan. Andros Khan. He has a he has a Viking helmet. Looks like He Man. So that's the two I see that I'm missing. Um, 
the other guy that's blonde looks like He-Man. He's just called Warrior. So that was an easy one to uh <laughs> to name. Anyway, okay, y'all. I'm gonna do more pre -safari, toy safaris. I'm gonna start trying to bring a grab a tub from the warehouse because we got our toy factory open here. This is the studio. If y'all know me, you already know all this stuff. If you don't, you'll see a lot more of backdrops like this, my paintings that will I'll hang and 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 you know, just that's just the way we go. Um if you're looking for our toys at all, if you want to check out what I do in 5.5 Realm and other, other other toy realms, it's Warriors of the Universe, Victory Comics LLC. You can find those. That's the two things you'd look for. Or a lot of guys just woe to now, Warriors of the Universe. And I've uh, been doing it for years, several years now. And um, and uh, I think you'll if you like stuff like this, you got to like them. I mean, how can you? It, 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 my whole life's this, you know? I mean, that's what I, what I do. <laughs> Okay, well, y'all have a good one. Victory.